My uncle always reaches out to me and he says, when you're living in such a big moment as I am, you have to realize the moment that you're living in sometimes. You can't let it pass by because in the blink of an eye, you'll realize that it's over. And I think that's, that's the truth of it. Every day I get to go out, put my boots on, lace them up and kick a soccer ball around. How many people get to say they do that? Oh, cool. This is Tyler Adams. Wait, wait, this is Tyler Adams in Soccer.com? No. no I'm Tyler Adams, yeah, what? <laughs> I'm Tyler Adams, and this is Soccer.com. My name is Tyler Adams, and I play midfield for RB Leipzig and the U.S. Men's National Team. <laughs> Yeah, so I was born in Poughkeepsie, New York. I moved to a town right next to it, Wappingers Falls, New York. I went to Royce Ketchum High School. My house where I live is about an hour and a half from Newark, New Jersey, um, where our Red Bull Arena is. And, you know, I played basketball growing up. I played flag football and stuff like that. I played baseball. I played every sport. Whatever my mom allowed me to play, I would play. I realized that I like to run a lot. Um, and then I was like, yeah, soccer allows me to run the most, so I'm going to play with that. I think the best way to describe my mentality would be fearless. I do a lot of things on the field that a lot of guys don't want to do. I like to break up plays, get stuck in tackles. I kind of won't stop working. I try to be the engine of the team and um, that's one of the easiest ways to describe myself and style of play. Goals were always important to me because I knew that as I grew older and matured as a player, ticking each box off as you go is a good way to keep track of, of how you're progressing. So I just remember being a young kid sitting on the couch, you know, turning Fox Soccer match report on every morning and watching Terry Marie score goal after goal after goal and saying, you know, one day I want to be at a club like that, whether it was Arsenal or in the Bundesliga or in the Premier League, just anywhere, because that was my ultimate goal. You know, my brothers, my dad, they've all helped me a lot with, with reaching that goal because uh, they played soccer, they knew the steps that it took to get to the, to the highest level possible. Um, and like I said, whether it was practicing out in the backyard um, with my brothers and tackling each other back and forth, or going to the soccer field near our house and working on my left foot nonstop because I couldn't pass the ball at my left foot when I was younger. And it was just these little progressions that my family helped me a lot with. There were some big sacrifices that I made over my youth years. My parents specifically made the most and they drove endless amounts of hours per week to New Jersey and back to New York. You know, in the beginning, my mom would go to work from 8 to 4.30, get out of work, pick me up from the house, drive straight to Jersey, drive back home. And at that point, I mean, it was almost a four hour round trip, so two hours each way. And we would get in the house at 12 and she's waking up at 6 the next morning and, and doing it again and when my stepdad who I call my dad came into my life with my brothers it was an amazing moment in my life because not only did he make me happy my mom happy he helped take the load off of my mom and, and share the responsibility um, for what it was going to take to, to put me in the position I am in today. So I think that one of the most important seasons of my career so far um, was in 2016 when I played a full USL season. We won a championship, raised a trophy, and the coaching staff knew that I wanted bigger goals and I needed bigger, bigger moments in my career. And now, as I look back at it and say, yeah, I took the right steps. I went to the USL team and signed with the USL team first. Went to the first team in New York, you know, played a bunch of games there and progressed my game a lot. And then I made the step to RB Leipzig, which is a huge club. We're playing Champions League now. And now I'm getting opportunities that I never would have believed I, I would have had. There's always something different about putting a US men's national team jersey on compared to your club jersey. And not that um, the level is different or anything like that. Just the value of being able to represent your country at the highest level is, is just the ultimate honor. I would say that the moment of scoring my first goal was a better moment as to making my first appearance and my first cap because of how it came on 9-11. I think that was probably the most memorable uh, moment for me when you can look back and say out of all the things that like the country has gone through on that day to be able to represent your national team on that day and then 
be able to beat your rival, it brings a lot of smiles to a lot of people's faces that usually are not smiling on that day. It was against Dusseldorf in Dusseldorf. I remember it almost like it was yesterday. Uh, the coach coming up to me and saying, you're starting tomorrow. And I remember walking out of the tunnel for the first time, obviously, you know, putting my Leipzig jersey on. For me, it was, it was a feeling that, that you'll never forget. You know, you go in, you make your first tackle, and immediately you feel like you're in the rhythm of the game. And, you know, that gave me full confidence that I was not only able to perform at that level, um, but I can start earning the respect of the players around me because, you know, as a, as a young American coming into a, a German team, um, with a bunch of guys that are high caliber players, you only want to prove yourself to them because once you do that, then you can be yourself. Eventually, going nonstop for four years, you're going to get injured. Like I remember uh, April 29th against Hertha Berlin, like I knew right away, I was like, this, this wasn't right. Like I've had injuries before that I knew was from overuse, from going nonstop, from putting endless amounts of miles on my legs. You get MRIs, nothing comes up but why do I still have pain? It's definitely been the toughest part of my career for me. You know, when you're the player that's staying inside while the rest of the team goes outside and trains and you have to do rehab every single day with the same person, it's a feeling that, that you'll never forget. So I think that remembering that feeling and what it feels like to be that person ultimately gave me the hunger to, to get back out in the field and, and wanna play and wanna battle again and, and just be myself and, and play the game that I love. So much of the mental part of the game contributes to obviously getting over injuries and facing the, the bumps in the road. And um, this was a really important one for me because I feel like I've not only matured as a, as a player, but also as a person of understanding my body and being able to take the next step in my game. I mean, I think the most important thing on my list right now is, is to play Champions League. Um, you know, you, I, I listen to the anthem like every single day, like since I, since I knew that we were going to be in the Champions League from last year. Um, and being able to walk out to that would be, would be unbelievable. My idea of, of greatness would be not caring what other people think about you, looking to improve every single day, having the mentality that being yourself is the most important thing because at the end of the day, there's gonna be a lot of people that criticize you, try to change you, but if you stay true to yourself, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. But also having the humble mentality that you're only as good as your last day is very, very important.